Hey there YouTube. Today we're talking about the recent food import restrictions in Slovakia, Poland, Hungary, and potentially Bulgaria on food imports from Ukraine. This has caused quite a stir amongst the European Union, with an official saying the EU would expect the Central European states to come up with some explanation. We'll discuss more on why these countries have created the restrictions, what's causing them, and what the EU is doing about it. It all started with the war between Russia and Ukraine last year when some Black Sea ports were blocked, causing Ukrainian grain, which is significantly cheaper than grain produced in the EU to stay in Central Europe. This created a glut of grain and caused prices to crash, which then hit the local farmers hard. Because of this, Poland's ruling Nationalist Law and Justice Party has created regulations on food imports from Ukraine. Since then, Hungary and Slovakia have followed with their own restrictions. Poland announced it was banning many agricultural imports from Ukraine and Hungary has banned imports from Ukraine of grain and oil seeds, as well as other farm products such as fruits, vegetables, dairy, beef, pork and eggs. In response, Mikola Solsky, Ukraine's agriculture minister, asked for the first step to be the opening of transit, saying, because it is quite important and it is the thing that should be done unconditionally. And after that, we will talk about other things. Hungary's agriculture minister, Isvan Nagy said the bans were a result of the absence of meaningful EU measures. In order to combat this crisis, the European Commission has proposed emergency funding to farmers in Central European member states to compensate for the excess of Ukrainian grain. But several countries have complained that the funding is not enough. The Commission's spokesperson for trade and agriculture has said that unilateral actions are not acceptable and that it is crucial to coordinate and align all decisions within the EU. From the Ukrainian side, the government has said it has always been sympathetic to the situation in the Polish agricultural sector and responded promptly to various challenges. But added, unilateral drastic actions will not accelerate positive resolution of the situation. The Ukrainian farmers are the ones in the most difficult situation, so it is understandable why the government is asking for Poland to take this into account and urge the EU to take meaningful measures. At this time, the future of these restrictions is not certain, as the war between Russia and Ukraine is still going on and the EU has yet to come up with an adequate solution that will benefit all parties involved. We can only hope that a solution is reached soon and that these unilateral actions won't be necessary for much longer. Thank you for tuning in, and be sure to leave a comment with your opinion down